Hello everybody, we finally got the new season starting today and I'm really extra special excited about this because of the Elite Mission Rewards. Um, these unlocked last season in Season 6, but I did not get Legendary in ranked um, enough times to get this special reward. But this last season I did, I finally got my last Legendary rank that I needed, so I can finally go down here and claim this DRH Kurohana 68 that I've seen everybody use. So, let's see. Let's do this. Oh man! Where was I supposed to click to download this ahead of time? Um... Okay, we're going to have to download this, and I'll check back in with you in a second. Alright, I've got the camo downloaded now, so we get to watch the cool intro thing. That's pretty cool. It's like a snake sort of a thing. Let's try that again. Look at that. So, I'm super excited. This is the first free permanent legendary weapon that they've released in this game. They've given us uh, trials before, um, where you get to like borrow one for a day. I know they did one with the PDW-57, but this is the first one that I get to keep. So, first free legendary weapon. This is our gunsmith we're doing today. I used to use the DRH as my main weapon like way, way back when I started the game, and I haven't really used it since. So that's what it comes out to, but I went for a little bit more mobility with ADS movement speed. That's what I've been focusing on lately. And then, of course, you have to have one of the OTM magazines. Otherwise, it's not worth using this weapon. We've got sound suppression and bullet spread. So let's go inspect this. I'm really excited. Okay, here's the inspect. Kind of hoping it would do something special, but I guess not. But look at that. We're looking straight down at a cobra, and we've got a red tip on the iron sight. we got all this glowy firing fire stuff on the side. This is pretty amazing. So, try out firing it. This recoil actually seems a lot easier to control than I remember. I just remember I had to put, like, the that muscle break on that reduced the recoil by 18% or something. But, yeah, this looks pretty promising. Let's go do this. I almost forgot. This being my first legendary, I want to see what some of these other camos look like on it. So, oh, that's cool. That Kurohana thing in the back still stays. Ooh, that one looks pretty cool. That looks cool, too. The black one. Nope. 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 Maybe. Ooh, that actually looks nice, too. I don't have this one yet, so I'm going to throw this on. kind of goes with the snake scales theme. Okay, looks like they're going to knock me down to Master 1. Here we go. Yep, all the way down. So I'm kind of expecting this will play like the UL736. We've got... Oh, there's that. They're coming around the side. No, the front, okay. Now coming around the side. There we got a kill. Look at that snake death effect in the red flames. But yeah, this has great damage at range and a slow fire rate, kind of like the UL736. So that's kind of how I'm expecting it to play, but maybe it's a little bit more mobile. A sniper up there, so I'm going to stay back. Now we'll see if we can get him. All right. That's pretty good. So off to a good start here. Let's turn the corner. Oh. I was trying to slide there, but I ended up crouching, and that's probably what got me killed. Okay. Somebody here. Oh, I just missed one shot. That's the challenge with the slow fire rate weapons. You just miss one shot, and sometimes that makes the difference between whether you win or lose the gunfight. But I really like this sight for aiming. Now I've picked up my... DRH, so I've got two of them. It's 30 rounds is decent, and I've got a slow fire rate, but it's you can still run out pretty fast. Okay, is somebody over there? There's somebody on the far left here. Oh man, okay. I saw the glint disappear, so I thought maybe he looked away or maybe he moved, but obviously that was not the case. I'm going to put that here, because now it sounds like the other team is running all around our house here. Maybe the one upstairs, so just hanging back a little bit. Um, 
just because I don't want to get ambushed from behind, but it looks like my trip mine worked. So, yay. Okay, now I think I can... Oh, man, there's... I was trying to hide behind the sign because of the guy in the truck, but then there was a guy off to the side. Bring it up, squad. That was surrounded. It's up, team. Enemy okay. I don't know if that's the same guy. It must have been. I just got revenge. Hey, now that's... That felt like the UL-736. That's the kind of stuff that I expect to do with that. So this is... This is kind of cool. This seems to be working out all right now. It's not... I shouldn't play too aggressive. Um... That's what happens, I guess. If somebody makes those big movements up close to you, you have a slow fire rate weapon, you might be in trouble. That's not really what it's meant for. Man. Okay. I didn't expect that. Pull out an operator skill at the last second. But seven and six is a good start. We just gotta win this because we're down by five. So let's try this. Let's toss that out there. Maybe I'll trap somebody here. Oh man. Okay. Here we got one of them anyway. There were so many of them. Can we get you? I'll switch to the pistol. Oh man. I think I'm hiding behind the trailer. Yes, I am. Let's pull out the dog. Oh man. Oh, that guy had to reload and now my dog, he distracted that guy. Thank you, dog. You just saved my life. And he got me two kills. Now I just dodged a sniper bullet. Thanks, dog. Dog is really going to town here. I'm on a five kill streak already. Dog had three of them. Oh, got stolen. That's what I was talking about, though. That, up, that wasn't super close, but like up close, somebody makes those big movements. It's really hard to get the kill then because of the slow fire rate. You got to be really locked in. Let's see if we can break into the house there with this. Oh, let that guy go. I don't want this guy to kill me. You get to see that snake death effect up close, so that's pretty cool. I can get you. Yeah. And my guy, that guy seemed like he had prior damage. Okay. Oh, he probably saw me. So I'm going to place the old trip mine and run around the corner. If he jumps out here, I'll get him. Oh, but I can get some other people too. I thought I was going to miss that. Get you know you're dead. Okay. Is anybody coming? Guess not. How about now? Oh, yikes. Okay, I almost didn't get that. A sniper, I was camping there before, so I want to make sure I'm not hanging around in that alleyway on the side of the house. Oh, yeah, he's gone. Enemy Reload, sight. wait for somebody else. Like him! Look at how accurate that was. Now we're on a 10 kill streak. I think we're probably going to win this now. We took a pretty good lead here. You know, I, I guess I don't. I haven't even died this half, have I? That's probably why. Got that ten kill streak. Now we're running low on ammo. That's the bad thing about not dying. So I took that guy out. Got a kind of UAV again. Now we're down to the pistol. So now they're chasing me here. I'm gonna try this again. Somebody following me? Ooh, pistol headshot. And I'll just pick that up because I need a gun. So let's see if he comes back out. Looks like not. That's it. I didn't even have to use the ICR. But we won. And I got MVP with the legendary Kurohana 68DRH. I wonder what the 68 part is for. Yeah, that was a really solid one there. That would trip mine. Boom. Okay, 77 is awesome. Hey, oh, two awards here. 77, 19, and 6. I didn't, I got 12 kills in the second half without dying. 196 impact. This was super. Look at that. And we'll check the names of the medals. Stable winner and geometry master. Okay, so this is an awesome camo, and it's free, and it was legendary. It took a lot of work to get it, but technically it is free. But it felt like the aim was, like, more stable than the base version, so... I'll take a look at this quick in case you're interested because I killed somebody with it once. But we'll watch the animation again. But maybe that's something about the legendary weapons. It just felt like there was less aim shake so I could be more accurate. But I also think this is a pretty good gunsmith too. Pretty versatile but not so great at the up close. But you can kind of play to avoid that. So there it is. Take off the tournament camo. 
Highly recommend getting this if you're able to. It was so much fun. Looks so cool. Thanks for watching, everybody.